Now, I understand that uh, Baltimore has come close to creating a park like uh, Ebbets Field, but there's nothing like Ebbets Field. I don't think there ever will be. Tucked inside the Flatbush section of Brooklyn, Ebbets Field was one of a kind. It was a little ballpark. It wasn't very big, but it was illuminating when we had a game there. It was just fantastic. The later dimensions of Ebbets led some to label it a bandbox. But for such a little park, it sure had some big moments, like the very first televised Major League game, the dawn of a new age. There were two cameras, black and white, of course. The pictures were quite poor. The camera operators didn't know anything about baseball. They didn't know where the ball was going. That's how primitive uh, it was. It was also at Ebbets where Jackie Robinson first took the field and broke Major League Baseball's color barrier. As a fan, when Jackie came up, it was so exciting. You know, stealing bases and stealing home. Everybody was talking about Jackie Robinson. And as Jackie soon discovered, the fans at Ebbets Field were a cherished part of the game. You couldn't slump playing in Ebbets Field because even if you came in there in a slump, the fans would wake you up. They were so much on top of you. When you went into Ebbets Field, you were so close to the players that you could hear them. You could hear them breathe. You could hear them speak, yell. You could see the beads of perspiration on their faces. It was very, very highly personal. You went to Ebbets Field not just to see a ball game, but to see old friends. You never met them. <laughs> you certainly knew them. You knew more about them than you did about some of your uncles and cousins. It was an intimate ballpark, and fans were right on top of the action, and you almost got to know more because they sat in the same seats every day. Going to Brooklyn was special, and pitching in Ebbets Field, and, and knowing that you were loved by those fans. They weren't just fans, it was a love affair. 